<laughs> well, we're here. The Got West. some cool graphics on this TV over here. Yeah, Westgate Casino. 24th annual United States Bar Table Championship. We've got a winner's bracket match here with Dennis Arcolo and Shane Van Boning. Dennis won the lag. Missed his first one practice shot. Made a second one, he's ready. Big match. Yep. Dennis wanted to practice a little. Well, you gotta get here a little earlier. You can't show up at the start time and start practicing. Yeah. We are in the eight ball division. It is a race to five. Now this is the only event that uh, Dennis has played in here this year. Shane's been in all the divisions. He got second in the 10 ball and he won the nine ball. Yeah, Dennis was in town too. I'm surprised he didn't play in other events. I know he had a big matchup, but yeah. it seems like he could have worked that through the schedule. Seen some great pool the last two days. Oh yeah. Still got some to go too. All right. All right, here we go. Well, got Shane's the first over there drinking a, a mocha <laughs> by a company that we won't name since they're not sponsoring anything. Yeah. In <laughs> incidentally, our sponsors are Q Sports International, the promoter, uh, Bad Boys Billiard Productions running the tournament, Cyclop Pool Balls, Magic Ball Rack, Diamond Pool Tables, and Simona's Cloth. I'd like to say thank you to all of them. Yeah. Seen a lot of players in the eight ball breaking head on. Well, he smashed. Oh, look at that bat. Oh, Ooh, he almost oh. got kissed in there. He broke him good. Well, yeah, let's see. What do you like here, Rick? I think you're good with either one of them. Yeah, I like to run out here. I don't want Shane to get back to the table. <laughs> yeah, whichever you <laughs> pick, just make sure you get them all. Uh, it, I don't really see a problem with either one. Looks like the one goes by the Yeah, line. it goes by. So uh, the four ball. Yeah, and if you get on the two, you can probably make the four in the side. Right. I think it's going to take stripes, though. Well. I don't know. But the five is straight in the side, then the six. Course, I'm, all, I'm usually it, wrong anyway. But I think you can go either way. Mm-hmm. Dennis is getting a little bit of a belly on him. You notice that? Yeah, they're all getting older. <laughs> it happens. Us included. Well, you know, he's <laughs> he's won some won some money this year and eating better. <laughs> I think I think a little bit of a belly can be a sign of success. <laughs> and I'm gonna stick to that story. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> well, you can see 11 out of there, then the 12 will go to that corner. Of course, if it's a sign of success, I should be a lot thinner. <laughs> yeah, he 
we'll go 10 and take care of the 14 and 9. And Twelve goes up in the corner, so yep. it's just a matter of position. Would you go for the position for that now? Shoot the nine, maybe, and just pull up towards it, shoot it, then the 15, 14, I think he's eight. got too much angle on that nine. Now you might. Well, now he's pretty straight on it, isn't he? Got a little straight on that nine ball, I think. Yeah, but I think he could stop right there and be okay because then he can just automatically slide the cue ball over to the right. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Shoot the eight. I think it goes inside. That's what he played for anyway, so. He played for it and then went and looked. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can always pull back and shoot it yeah. in the corner. Or two rail out and shoot the eight on the other side. Yeah. But uh, I think it passes the seven. It's well, funny that he played his shape and then went and looked to see where <laughs> the eight went. I can make it from anywhere. <laughs> I don't think he really likes the side shot. I don't think he has the whole pocket. He keeps looking to make sure he's got some of the pocket, though. Nice little pop out. Yeah, got it off the rail or more comfortable shot. Well, good out. One to nothing. Yep. Again, it's a race to five. Brett Baker hard at work there. Is he going to keep score for us? Is nope, he go, nope. He Dennis, went, Dennis went over there and did it. Brett's working hard. Yep. Just so you know, Julie, that's the hardest he's worked all week. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shane Van Boning is an 819 Fargo, and Dennis is 811. Yeah, there's only about... What'd you say? I looked it up. 10, and I think 12 people? Not even 12, I don't think. Maybe 10 people that are 800 in the world. plus. Yeah. And Shane's number one. That'd be a nice number to hit. 700's a very strong, proud number to mm -hmm. hit. Good break, but did he get something in? Uh, no. That might just leave a mark. Again, it's all open. They're all open. Crazy. And he could take either one. Yeah, could quickly end up being three nothing. That's tough in a race to five. Break is very, very important. You don't see Shane dry break very often. Not in eight ball. Any game. Yeah, Dennis is getting old. Look at his thinking position there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to go with stripes. Well, he was going to go with stripes. Well, they look the easiest to me. Yeah, the only issue with solids, and it's not really an issue, is that six and a seven down right. here on the end rail, yeah. but even that's not really an issue. And these stripes down here all are right around yeah, the Yeah, he's got ball, an automatic so ball for for position on those yep. two. The 10 ball sitting there makes those two balls easy to get on. And 
You could even get on them from the other side. He could shoot the 13, mm -hmm. then the 12, then the 11, the 10, or the 12, 10, 11, either way. Dennis has been playing a ton of one pocket lately. Should be interesting to see how things play out at Derby this year. Yep. Well, looks like it's going to be two to nothing. Yeah, that dry break. Yeah, that's pretty uh, painful. Very painful. <coughs> well, Shane could hope that Dennis gets a dry break and mm -hmm. it could just as easily turn around and be. Two, two. smashed him last time, made a couple of balls and had a pretty simple run out. <laughs> well, there's all simple when you're up here in the chair, you know. And for these guys, it really is. Unless you get balls tied up. Uh, you have to go back and watch that match. It, uh, uh, I can't think of his name. I'll look it up. But the guy played perfect against Vilmos last night. Made some just that you would have bet against him being able to run out where the balls were placed, and he just played perfect shape, made every shot. It was, it was a hell of a yeah. match. Well, Dennis made a ball in the break. This run out's a little trickier. He'll probably take solids because that's really the only good opening shot is a seven ball, but Got the stripe and a solid tied up over there against a cushion near the side pocket that's got to be dealt with. When you're dealing with those, you prefer to, is there an advantage to dealing with the one on top or the one on bottom? I don't know. You know, really the nine might go in the lower left corner if he gets over on that other cushion over there, but... I'm guessing I'm going to answer that question. It depends on what's close to it. Yeah. <laughs> now it looks to me like stripes are closer to it to deal with it, but. That nine might go, but of course he's not shooting stripes, so. Now he could shoot the six and then leave an angle on the two ball. Use the two to try to draw over to it. No, he's going to go for it right now. Don't think he nudged it enough. To, nope. 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 So he's working himself into a little bit of a problem. Just keep swinging at it till you get it. <laughs> well, he's going to run these out guys of swings. Are, yeah, these guys are way more precise than. <laughs> But uh, is he gonna swing out of here as well? Yep. Nope. Thought he was a little too uh, straight. Got a little. And he, well, might, he be might be able to swing out of here. Yeah. There you go. Hit it perfect. Demetrius Gelatus. Yeah. He's the guy that played. Absolutely perfect set last night against Vilmos. Well, 
Ooh, he come far. Ooh. Wow. Let's see if there's one ball, one pocket practice. I don't think he can even bank it. Back to him? I don't, I don't think he can bank it in either pocket. That 14 might be in the way. The 13 is in the way for that. Yeah, yeah. he's. He put himself in a jam here. He's going to cut gonna it. He's going to cut it. Well, what else does he have? That's awful thin. <laughs> Wow, he made a mistake. That's wicked then. I'm looking over the screen here, and he's probably two balls north of that eight ball. I don't even know if that's cuttable. I think it is. I think the banks are gone. The banks are both gone. Side pocket <sighs> banks not you know, there. From the side view of the pool table, it does not look like that's cuttable. But Man, oh, man, that's thin. But he might get it off the side of the 14. Yeah, uh, he'll cut it clean. But it's pretty close to a 90 degree cut. Nope. Nope. And Shane's. He could have cut it thinner, but. Yeah, he had it pretty full. You got to like that, Shane. Oh, he's got to be. That was a mental error there. Wow. Yep, Shane can't believe his fortune here. I mean, he was looking at being down three to nothing. And a race to five. Alternating break. That's a tough one to come back from. Yep. At this level. <clears throat> well, and the only thing Shane did wrong was lose the lag and have a dry break. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. He'll shoot this 10, shoot the 11 in the side. Most likely the yep. eight in the upper right. Well, I don't need to say how big of a difference two to one versus three to nothing is. Hey, for some people, math can be hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if Shane can fix his break. Yep. He smashed him open. They just, nothing found a pocket. Yeah, it didn't even look like anything was close. No. Which is kind of odd, but. You think you'd get 15 balls rolling on a seven-foot <laughs> pool table, one of them would always find a hole. Uh, no, I can attest that, <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> well, that was a huge error by Dennis. Yeah, that was big. One position error can change the whole outcome yep. of this match. Well, Lucky would be on duty here at the scoreboard if uh, he wasn't in a match. Yeah, he's Okay, he got a ball there. He did not get any unlucky kisses. Cue ball running amok. Ooh. Can you see the 11? I don't think so. He's got the six. I think he's stuck with a solid. Which is not necessarily bad. But or a combo. He made two stripes on the break. That cue ball was kicked around pretty good. Hit the rack, went up to the top of the table, and came all the way back down. He's looking at that combination. He'd like to have stripes. Combination doesn't look too difficult, and the nine ball will track over towards the other corner pocket. Uh-oh. No, he's fine. Man, he got close to that <laughs> ball. Now he's thinking how he's going to get on the other side of that 10. Yeah, because the 9 is going to stop him from doing that right now. Well, he can do it right now. 
unless the four teams lined up right. I don't think it is. Hmm. You got a chance of running out this one without the cue ball ever going above the side pocket. That's kind of mm -hmm. weird. <laughs> That's about perfect. Yeah, he might go above the side pocket now. I think he's going to draw the cue ball right back to where he's standing off the side rail. Shoot the 14 in the same corner. Can he get there without hitting the five? I think so. Yep. Yep. And still not above the side pocket. Nope, he just needs to pull his cue ball back a few inches. There you go. All of a sudden, two two. What could have been three to zero is now two to two. In a heartbeat. Mm hmm. Well, the saving grace for Dennis is it's his break now, so he can stay ahead if he... Yeah, and he gets the extra break if he gets to Hill Hill. And he, he's, twice he's broke. He's broke the balls really well. Once he ran out, the other time is when he made a mistake. He overshot his position on the egg ball. By quite a bit. And left himself not impossible cut, but... Damn near. As thin as you can <laughs> get, and he undercut it. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. They're all, <laughs> they're all round, Dennis. They're all pretty much the same. We got some people in the stands watching. Oh yeah. That guy right there looks like Danny Bonaduccio. <laughs> <laughs> well, he smashed them and he made balls. And nothing's tied up except if he were to take the stripes, he's got the 15. It's he could break it away with the nine if he chooses stripes. I'd be surprised if he doesn't take this. Well, stripes look okay except for the 15. And the eight ball. Well, yeah, if he takes stripes. I'm sitting here thinking if he takes the solids, the eight ball's a little, a little tougher. It shouldn't be a problem because the side pocket would be cleared. Yeah. And plenty of balls down here where he could get on it. I think I'd shoot either the six or the four, go up and get the one and the seven, and then come back down for these. It's just me. I might have started with the four because it. There you go. He's got that eight ball a little more cleared out, a little easier to get to. I think now he'll go after the other ones. Yeah, you want to get those two up there, and then you got a lot of options down here on how to get on the eight. He might, yeah, take the five now. I'm surprised he's doing that, but I'm not going to question what these guys do. 
Yeah, I think he'll leave the two for last, though, don't you? Well, you might want to leave that three there so that in case you got a safety valve. Yeah, he'll go three, one, seven, two, I think. Yeah, because he could leave a little angle on the seven and just go over to the side rail and be straight on the two. The way the balls were sitting, there was a lot of different ways you oh, could yeah. do it. <laughs> you could probably ten different ways you could have played that. Boy, he hit that too hard. Wow. have to kill the cue ball a little bit. Yep. Killed it a lot. Pretty good shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, three to two. Shane's break. Yeah, Shane's going to have to break, sir. He's, Shane really has to quit screwing up the lag. <laughs> Put a little more effort <laughs> in on the lag. He was practicing <laughs> the lag before... Before the match. Uh, we got the Quan bomb behind the camera controls now. Uh oh. <laughs> Did you go to the office this morning? No. He slept wow. in. He slept in today. He told Ozzy he had stuff to do here this morning. Slept in. <laughs> Come strolling in here at 120. <laughs> nah, he was here before that. <laughs> okay. Ball's made. Air. Ooh. Five ball's going to be. Yeah. I think he'll take Solomon's. Are you going to get to the five? I think you can make it. You think so? I think so. Real between that and the ten to get in there? I think so. I can't tell. If I had a chat room, I could say about, well, you could. Can you shoot the ten and make the five right now? I don't think so. Well, that's what he just called. Oh, on the, with the carom? Yeah, shoot the ten and kick well. in the five. Apparently he thinks he can, so I'm going to guess yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was pretty. Ooh, look at this. Oh, he got oh, a little lucky there. Oh, that was a there. beautiful little bump. He could have ended up right behind that 14. It was going to be in the hole. He was going to scratch. That was a nice little bump he got there. <laughs> I think that combo's on. Yeah, he's going to have to get underneath the seven and the four. Well, right now, it looks like the upper left-hand corner is the only pocket of four goes in. Mm-hmm. After he gets the seven out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. One, seven, six. For yeah, shape to the four. If you can land on that seven. Well, I can land on the seven with the one because the seven goes in the lower left. Yeah. Actually, he could shoot the one and then shoot the seven and maybe bump the four. But you got to be careful because you got to land on the six or the three. I don't know. Instead of well, speculating, let's this, just watch and see what he does. Yeah, this is the key shot to the whole <laughs> rack, really. Yeah. I think he's just thinking about just rolling the one in real gently. He could go around, but... Oh, now he can bump the four now. Gotta, you got to know exactly where that cue ball is going, though. If he doesn't get a shot on the three or the well, six. Well, he doesn't want to hit the four 
just dead in the face and stop right there. Right. He slides over and doesn't get the six. He's uh, uh, he, uh well, he's got a couple of that. He got or a little, does the four go by the six? I don't think so, but either way, he got a little four chant there. If it does, it's. I think it does go by. Yep. You got a little fortunate the way those two balls landed. Okay, can he pull his cue ball back underneath the nine? No, he's gonna, he's just gonna go up there. Play it in the corner. Oh yeah, two rails. No other problem. end of the table, perfect shape. Yep. And we're going to be three to three. Yeah, Dennis has just got to hold serve. Shane is hoping he doesn't. Yep. That's all he can do is play chase and hope. Yep. Well, Dennis made one error already. Shane's hoping he makes one more. That's all it would take. Yeah, technically Shane Shane should have been ahead, but he's not because he had that dry break. So they both technically made an error. True. <clears throat> How long does it take you to get home after here? Five, six hours? Five hours. From the time I tough, get in my car, I'm in my garage in five hours. I don't know why you're shaking your head, Steve, and you're, what, 15 minutes from your... <laughs> yeah, 27 hours and 45 minutes if we don't stop yeah. other than the gas up. Then you get to stay home for... 15 minutes and come all the way back <laughs> out here. <right? laughs> yeah, coming all the way. Yeah, it's a messed up schedule at the beginning of next year. In Vegas now, drive to Indy. After and the holidays, the back drive to back Arizona. to Vegas, then go to Arizona. Then drive back to Indy to do Derby. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, Dennis is having a little problem here. the rack to his satisfaction. over there thinking, what is the problem? <laughs> well, Dennis hasn't broke dry yet. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, Dennis is happy. We'll see if he stays that way. Well, he's got a Muchi shirt on. He's breaking with a Predator. <laughs> His playing cue might be a Muchi. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Nothing? Oh. Dry break. Shane's thinking, thank you very much. I'm taking solids. If I got a starter shot. I don't see one. There's hardly even a stripe starter, is there? Isn't that crazy? Oh, wait. He might be able to get to that six between the one and the seven. Can he? I don't think so. Wow. How do you break balls like that and not have a shot? Not an easy one. <laughs> wow, look at that. 
He's either got a combo. He could carry him the 13 inside. Tough cut on the 10. Can't quite see enough of that nine ball. That's insane. He sees, I think. We're about to find out. He can just hop over the edge of that one, actually. Uh, we're gonna find out. Okay, he, he did fit through it a there. little bit. Wow. Now he's looking really good. I mean, it's not like the cue ball was trapped or anything. It was yeah. kind of sitting out there, but there was really no no easy shot to start with. Well, that's exactly what Shane wanted to see, a dry break. I'm not sure what he's looking at here. One in the side, six in the corner, three in the corner. Come down here and play with these three down here. I guess. I don't know. I assume the one... Passes the 12 in the side. Maybe it doesn't. I think it does. He's just mapping it out. Yeah, Mike Massey's sweating the match. And Brett's sweating it. There's quite a few people in the stands. You can't see the stands on the, on the screen, but... Every time Shane plays, he draws a pretty good crowd. We've probably seen Shane play a thousand sets. <sighs> Still enjoy watching him play, though. try to count how many matches of pool I've seen now. Now he's, this is my guess, he's going to play the four, five, two in the side. Roll oh, up. Yeah, I, I think so. Roll up and play the eight in the corner. That's my guess. <coughs> he's been known to prove you wrong, though. But yeah, you, I think that's I've probably been wrong more times than I've been right. Well, we can put you in the crowd with uh, Michael Jordan. He's missed more final shots than he made. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel a whole lot better today, don't you? He's got, what, six <laughs> six rings or something? <laughs> I got one. You didn't win it, though. You didn't say how many rings he <laughs> won. Well, I got one, too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Happily married. <laughs> yep, now he'll just roll up be on the eight a little bit and shoot it in the lower right corner. That's the only shot he'll have. Not telling anybody what they don't already see. Did you see that shot? I did see it. Did you? It was a great shot. Yeah. Let's, Let's look at the next shot. Next. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and now Shane's ahead four to three and it's his break. Oh, yeah. One dry break each. Yep, and the difference in the match actually is that uh, Dennis overshooting his shape on that eight ball. Yeah, and that one was just shocking, really. Yeah. I mean, it was at the other end of the table. Well, for Shane, I think it comes down to this break. Yeah. Break and run here for the set. You don't want to dry, dry break or scratch oh or anything. No, Let then Dennis get up Dennis there and run out. Dennis runs out and, and then it's his break run. for the set. Dennis is just hoping it's drier. <laughs> or Shane has no shot. An eight ball, it's tough not to have a shot after the break. He almost, <laughs> the, it was the last close. one was close though. Cue ball's on the table. Ball in the pocket. And Everything's open. He's good. Looks like he could make a stripe or a solid. Seven to go on the side. I don't know if you can see the five. Yeah, you shoot seven in the side, though. You're letting your cue ball travel. Sure. I don't know. The only other shot I see is this one. Eleven in the corner there. Then he can roll past the two, shoot the 12 on the side, and then he could probably shoot the 10, maybe bump the 15 over towards the other corner. I don't know. 
We got those. Whoa. That was a little surprising to me that. 12 will come yeah, down. I think 12 comes down in the corner too. So yeah, he's not real happy where he landed. But I'm thinking 12 ball, then 10 ball, kick the 15 to the other corner. Is he going side pocket and then bringing the cue ball into the 10? Or? Possibly. He's more than likely going to have a shot if he splits those two gently. Yeah, well, he's going to the. Going to the 12 on the side. Split them. Perfect. perfect. Yep. Now I'm thinking you shoot the 15, then you shoot the 10 and come across, shoot the 14 up in the top corner, 13 bottom right corner. Well, our scorekeeper, Lucky Baldwin, is back. I don't know if he won his match or not. Should tell him to throw Brett some crap about not taking care of that while he was gone. I'm telling you. <laughs> yep, I think he's going to do my pattern. I might be right for a change. You're going to do the 10 and come over and shoot the 14, 14 up? 14 up and then the 13 in the bottom right. Eight ball wherever you want. <laughs> You're right, Steven. <laughs> 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 A little careful here. Where is he going to float onto the other, over to the other side of the eight ball, or just bump into the four? I wouldn't want to bump into anything. Well, I mean, the four is pretty no, easy to control you. from there. Oh, he had room to get through. Yep. Actually, I called the correct pattern. You're awesome, Bill. I am one out of a thousand. Hey, that's all it takes. It's like baseball. Well, there it is. Shane wins. All right, well, we'll be back for the next match yep, at 2.30 uh, Pacific, which is about 45 minutes, and we'll see you then.